Okay, we retained another integral from the MIT integration be 2006, number 35. We have the integral of sine ln x dx. Okay, to get started, what I want to do, I just want to deal with the obvious thing. We've got a natural log inside the sine function. I don't really like that, so I'm going to do a u substitution right away to get rid of that. I want to do a u substitution just to clean that up, so I'm going to make my u equal to ln x. And then I can rearrange this to solve for x, so we're going to end up getting x equal to e to the u. I'll go ahead and take a derivative. So what we're gonna have is dx equal to e to the u du. Now from here, we'll just go ahead with this and substitute. So we're gonna end up here. This is gonna turn into sine of u and our dx value is all this. So this is gonna become e to the u du. And now in this case here, where we've got two things, let's do integration by parts on this using the di method or tabular integration. I'll come over here to the right. And it doesn't really matter how I choose this one, but I usually like to integrate e to the u and differentiate the trig function. So we'll do it this way. I'll go ahead and differentiate here. Derivative of sine is gonna be just cosine. And then differentiating again, derivative of cosine u is gonna be minus sine of u. And then integrating eu, that's gonna be eu. And then, and then doing again, we get another e to the u there. So we'll have part of our solution on the diagonals in the last row, this is just gonna be an integral. Now we've got eu in common here in both these. So when I do this, let's factor out the e to the u in front. And then what we're left with here is just gonna be sine u minus cos u. But now for this integral in the last row, just notice that what we have here, without the minus sign, that's exactly our integral here. So what I can do is let's just label this integral i right here. And we'll label the whole thing i. So then this here is gonna give me a minus i. So let's just, so let's just write that in here as a minus i. But then what I can do to solve for i, let's just add an i on both sides. So we'll add it here and add it here. And then on the left side, this is just gonna be two i. So I'll just divide off two so we can isolate i, which is our goal solution. And then we have to do it on the right side, so we'll divide everything by two over here. And now we just need to back substitute in order to finish it off. Then putting this all together, we already have our value for e to the u, that's just gonna be x. So we'll have x out front. This is gonna become sine ln x minus cosine ln x all over two, add a plus C, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Pretty straightforward problem from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.